All right, time now for better fashion. We're talking about easy, breezy looks for spring. Our better stylist, Debbie Wright, is joining us with more. And uh, apparently she has some essential oils, too. Deb, last time I'm going to use the joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just I promise I'll never use it's it It's over. We're going to retire we're, it. But we're, we're retiring it today, but I had to get that in there. I have to give you some new content, right? Exactly. I'll have to do something else. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you guys? Good. You look nice and springy. Oh, thank you. Currently in Alabama at the moment. Oh, oh wow. Oh, it is nice down yeah. there. So, so you, you yeah. have some spring tips for us. I do. Recently visited one of my favorite boutiques in Connecticut, the Red Door in East Hampton. Found some amazing pieces for every woman's wardrobe that are lightweight and cool and kind of fit into that easy breezy category, which we're all looking forward to wearing more of, right? Absolutely. Yeah, give us a look. All right. Okay, so look number one, I mean, doesn't Anne, she's the manager at the Red Door, doesn't she just look like a breath of fresh air in this beautiful sweater? This is really lightweight. I do encourage that you wear a tank underneath. What I love about the white crispness look of this is it's really flattering on the body. You're going to stay very cool, but I love the way that the stripes just elongate your frame. I also really appreciate, which I know a lot of women also do, the length of the sleeve. It's like that three-quarter sleeve that just covers the arm, gives you full coverage confidence, but still you're not going to overheat. This is a type of sweater and a topper that just goes whether you're wearing jeans or pants or even over a dress, and, and you can make the dress look like a skirt um, and create a full look. This is just, again, something that's going to keep you really cool, but it's going to give you the coverage that a lot of women still look for even going into the warmer months. Okay. Yeah, I, we do love Red Door East Hampton. Love yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> What's next? The second, the second look is a beautiful dress. You know, and I know so many of us are still thinking about that casual lifestyle. We're working from home, but dresses are really so comfortable. So I encourage you all to wear a few more dresses, maybe this spring and summer, something like this. Very, very flattering, very comfortable to slip into. It has a beautiful, I don't know if you can really see the detail, but Beautiful smocking around the waistline, which really kind of gives you that um, concealment around the middle. That beautiful handkerchief, handkerchief hemline also just kind of floats when you walk. It's very feminine, but you have a little tie in the neckline. So you still get, you know, that deep, you know, not too deep V, but that V neckline, very flattering on all shapes. But you have that little tie accent. So it's not too low. Yeah, That's I beautiful. love a little V-neck too. It just makes us nice and long. That's Thank really you. That's really pretty. Learn that from Deb. It, it does. It does. And then you can always throw a little denim jacket, a little sweater over that. And then the third look is another really just that that inspiration, that floral inspiration in a blouse. It just it's a hundred percent breathable cotton. Will definitely speak to that inner flower child in you. You know, the florals are always on fashion for spring summer. It seems it's kind of a no brainer. But this is sort of a fresh look on that with that very neutral background. It's got the velvet trim, but the fact that it's 100% breathable cotton is a, a nice update for your wardrobe as well. Deb, uh, it's the Red Door, right? Yes, in East Hampton. In East yes. Hampton. Price, mm. uh, I, people are gonna think I can't afford to go to a boutique, but that's not always the case, right? No, these are very affordable fashions, you know, under $100 easily. And they also are a great prom dress destination. I also want to call that out because they make prom dress selections um, and that experience a whole wonderful afternoon. So they're definitely open for that now. They're taking appointments, which is nice that schools are having and, and you know, looking yeah. forward to proms again. But yeah, very affordable, great customer service and beautifully, beautifully curated pieces, which are different, which is what I like. Mm. Yeah, that's great to know. I know they have the whole, uh, they bring you in your own dressing room and treat you like a princess for the yeah. prom. So it's great to know during the pandemic, they're still doing some form of that. I don't want to see the kids miss out. I know, I know. It's nice to see some of that come back. And you're definitely treated like gold there. And I'm so grateful that they've stuck around and been able to through all of this. So definitely support them, check them out. It'll be a nice treat for you for sure. All right, well, thank you, Deb. We love to shop local. Yeah, so well, thanks for telling us. Deb, if, if you don't dream it, it won't come true, right? Or what are you saying? Uh, <laughs> you have to believe it before you, you can receive it, it Scott. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is going to be a constant message. I do love that reminder. Even thank in you. Alabama. <laughs> what are you doing in Alabama? That's where her daughter goes My to school. 
Oh. Yeah, my girl is here. Yeah, we're trying to figure out where she's going to be living next year because apparently when you're a sophomore, you live off campus now. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> yeah, these, Who knew? Are, these are the troubles and tribulations of uh, a parenthood. Yeah. Trials and tribulations <laughs> of parenthood. <laughs> Scott's learning. <laughs> We've done stories on how to help your kids make them clean. He doesn't know, know about that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. He has no mess because he has no kids. <laughs> That's Thanks, Deb. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care, guys.